Hello and welcome to Take 5 with the Regional Chamber. I'm Kim Calvert. The Mahoning Valley Scrappers are preparing to start the second half of the season and thanks to a partnership with the Fairhaven Foundation, their stadium is more welcoming than ever. Talia Hagler visited the stadium to learn more about Scrappy's safe haven and what the rest of the season has in store. The Mahoning Valley Scrappers want everyone to feel welcome at Eastwood Field. They didn't want the noise and activity at the stadium to keep anyone from coming to a game or event. For us to be able to provide a place, you know, really trying to be as inclusive as possible um, with all of our fans uh, in the Mahoning Valley area, that means a lot to us. So, um, you know, all the time we're looking for ways that we can get more people to come out to the ballpark who may be hesitant to do so. So the Scrappers teamed up with the Fairhaven Foundation to create Scrappy's Safe Haven a quiet space that's open to anyone who needs a break from the exciting atmosphere at the stadium. We've worked with the Fairhaven Foundation for a number of years on uh, scrapper events and also the ability walk and roll. And uh, in my role, I'm also a board member with the Fairhaven Foundation. So had been in discussions with uh, Stephanie Champlin, who's the executive director, about finding a and creating an inclusive space for the community that they serve to help them in attending games. The Scrappers are leading the way when it comes to spaces like Scrappy's Safe Haven. We really are the first minor league baseball team to have a space like this, so that was really, really cool for us to be able to create that and Stephanie's vision on bringing this to Eastwood Field and, and we now have a space that's, that's really going to be a model for, for all of minor league baseball. Now that the space is open and welcoming guests, everyone can feel more comfortable attending some of the Scrapper's exciting upcoming events. We are kicking off our second half of the season, uh, and this weekend coming up, we do have games Thursday through Sunday. A lot of exciting things, back-to-back -back fireworks night, Star Wars night. Um, we have a Rokio a bobblehead giveaway on Saturday, Christmas in July on Sunday, and we're really uh, gearing up for a nice second half. The Scrappers' attendance is up this year with a lot of large groups, corporate events, and just fan support. They're hoping Scrappy Safe Haven will bring even more people to the ballpark. For Take 5 with the Regional Chamber, I'm Talia Hagler. You can see the Scrapper schedule, check out upcoming promotional nights, and buy tickets at mlbdraftleague.com slash Mahoning hyphen valley. The Grand Resort in Warren is adding to the extensive list of services it offers. They recently opened the Grand Resort Dermatology Center, which provides a long list of traditional dermatology services, including skin checks, surgeries, and cancer and skin tag removal. The new office will serve both resort guests and the local community. Unlike existing dermatology practices with long waits for appointments, you can get in to see the doctor right away at the Grand Resort. That's one of the biggest issues I think across the country, but, but certainly in this area too, that um, the wait times are you know four, five, six months. And as you know, if you have anything on your skin that doesn't belong, you don't want to wait more than, it, more than you have to. So luckily, because we're new, we can see patients right away. So we can see you know, same day patients, same week, really flexible right now. The dermatology practice will be working closely with the Grand Resort Med Spa, where they offer cosmetic services like Botox, fillers, and laser treatments. To learn more about the practice, visit thegrandresort.com slash dermatology. We hope you enjoyed this edition of Take 5, and we'll see you again next week. With the Regional Chamber, I'm Kim Calvert. Take 5 with the Regional Chamber is produced by Mahoning Valley Productions, where we tell your stories.